I am Black Success, founder and CEO of my songs, RadioReady.com, and this is The Beautiful Struggle. Beautiful struggle is like the, uh, it's like a fraction, you know? It's like a, a fraction with common denominators to where everyone's story is different, everyone's struggle is different, whether you're an artist, a model, a DJ, a, a business mogul, a promoter, you know, or an entrepreneur, you know? Um, everyone might go through different struggles on a day-to-day -day basis that's stopping them from getting to their real goal or delaying um, their their travel to their real goal. And although all our struggles is different and may vary, our common denominator is the title, which is the beautiful struggle. Because we know we're going to get there. We know that we're going to achieve and reach and, um, and, and strive and actually gain uh, most of the stuff that we want out of life if we believe and put it in necessary work but the beautiful struggle just represent the actual journey that it takes to actually get there well black success struggles is is you know me personally i don't really have any struggles you know the way i the way i see things well, I see the world. I don't really have any struggles because some things are just delayed. A blessing delayed is not a blessing denied. I, I, you know, my, my pastor said that once in church, and, you know, it just stuck with me. Now, as far as my song is ready already, you know, um, this, this is, a, this is a, a global entertainment company that's, that could take over at any given time. And, and, and you know, our struggles today is really not even struggle it's just brand awareness as soon as people know as soon as people figure it out read it see it they gravitate so it's not even really a struggle it's just we you know slow progress is good from where we started we came a long way so you know this company is no real man manpower it's, it's one man it's 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 a, it's a brand ambassador and it's a little bit of independent contractors that may help here and there so you know anyone else looking in or um from from the outside looking in may may think i got a staff of 12 or 15 people you know and i, I don't i do everything i do the blog and i do the i do i do the research i do the venue booking i do the concepts i do the i you know figure out how the flyer design is supposed to go how the clothing is supposed to look you know um and, and, and what our next two to three venues or or um, ventures would be and with that being said you know you got to do it all you're gonna run a company you got to know how to run everything you work at McDonald's you got to know everything from how the fries go to how the burger is made to how much money gets dropped into the safe every night and you know I'm just running my company so our struggle is not a is not really a struggle as far as a company is is concerned we just don't have the actual aid that we need in order to take over the way we know You know, a lot of problems, you know, the, I think the biggest problem unsigned artists have is that they try to put up this stigma, you know, when you make songs like Ball Until I Fall or, you know, um, um, Twerk It Like You Work It, you know, songs like that. Now you have to live up to that, you know, um, song title. You know? So Ball Till I Fall, you know, I gotta, walk, I gotta look like money. I gotta look like... I'm doing it. I look like I don't have a problem. Like, labels are just missing me. I'm not missing the label because I'm doing me. You know, you know twerk it till you work it. You know, I, I'm already getting all the girls. I'm already, you know, interacting with people like that to where I, come, I have um, I have the, uh, the persuasive speech ready to get them to do the stuff that I want them to do. Instead of saying, yo, listen, man, I, I'm hurting, man. I only got $100 for my next video. I gotta wait till my next four paychecks in order to get this money right while paying for rent, while paying for, while, you know, this is this is everybody's problem. And you know, the first thing is, when you're an artist or when you're an entrepreneur, when you're, when you're doing anything, people gotta find some kind of ground of understanding with you, some kind of like common ground where it's like, 
I, I know what he's talking about. He or she is talking about. I know what they're going through. I know what they, I know what they mean. And the first thing is your struggle, you know, because a lot of people have struggles. Even the rich have struggles, believe it or not. Because to get rich is nothing. That's the easy part. So I'm not in a rush to get rich. To stay rich, it's the hardest thing you can do is stay rich. You know what I mean? That's a hard job. You know what I mean? It, it, especially since the industry has changed. You know, so it, it's like you really got to have a business mind. You can't just want to be an artist. If you only want to make music, listen, be a songwriter and sit down somewhere. But you got to go in there wanting to make music. You got to go in there with your other three, which are, you know how people like always have a plan B. Now you got to have a plan A through Z, honestly, going into this industry because this hit or miss. You could be hot one year and, you know, it was it was a wave where T-Pain was on every song for two years. Ja Rule was on every song for three years. Um, Little John was on every song for two years. And then you don't see those guys anymore. So you can have a hot and then you can have a cold. And cold could last for a long time, you know. So, um... I, I want I want them to reach out and, and really connect with with the with the viewers and with people that's watching them and hearing their story to hear some of the some of the realness because most of the time people don't connect with their music and they feel like oh this person lying this person don't got no money you ain't driving no Bentley what you rhyming about a Bentley for what you rhyming about this for so this is the one time where they can say yo listen these are my problems you know what I mean and like I could personally say me like. My issue is I don't have enough money. It's not that I don't have money. I don't have enough money to do everything that I really want to do. So that's an issue. That's not a big issue. Because that's probably the majority of people's problems. So what issue do I really have? So all I got to do is stay alive, you know. And it costs nothing to stay alive. It costs nothing to do. It costs nothing to do this video. And all I got to do is stay alive through branches of my company. And I'm, and I'm just as rich as everybody else. You're going to see me every day like you see Lil Wayne. You're going to see me every day like you see Oprah. Whether you want to or not, we're going to be somewhere. You know, when you Google up this company, when you look up my song already, already, we got images, we got videos, we got concerts, we got shows, we got venues. A lot of things connect back to our brand. So the beautiful struggle is only going to get them to see the backside of things. The you know paying for the venues the the you know the, the the you know artists and what they and what they're going through and why this song makes sense for them because some of us making songs of you know pain and songs of sorrow and 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 maybe their beautiful struggle story is going to connect the dots and make you understand make you connect to them in somewhat way like you know what i mean so the beautiful struggle is just it's just a platform man to let you to let your emotions out let your feelings out about who you really are Aside from the music, aside from who you want to be with the music or, or what you're singing about with the music that we don't really know about, who are you really? What are your day-to-day -day issues? Because we got those problems too. And we want to know that so that we feel connected to you. Whether you're an artist, whether you're a model, whether you're a DJ, a photographer, an entrepreneur, a nine-to-five motherfucker, it doesn't matter. You know, uh, everyone has struggles. And that's what's so beautiful about it because struggles is temporary, you know? struggles is temporary as long as you have positivity within your mind and you speak your you speak your progress into reality struggles is temporary the beautiful struggle is like it's kind of like what what R. Kelly planned to do with Trap in the Closet. Remember when he first made it? He was like, this is going to be forever. You're going to be 85. They're going to talk about Trap in the Closet, 856. That was the best part of his whole shit, right? When he was like explaining it. So um, the beautiful struggle is an ongoing thing. Like this is not, it's not going to end. It's not going to, it's not something I'm just doing for the moment. The beautiful struggle, you know, it may change. It may vary. I may be successful next year in some people's eyes because I'm doing certain things. And I may have new struggles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or I may degrade in some way and have new struggles. So it's an ongoing thing. It's an ongoing story. This is the one story that never ends. There's no final chapter with this. And um, I just want to keep it going. I want to get everyone's story. Um, and it don't always have to be music. It don't always have to be artists. I, I want to get the barber story. I want to get the teacher story. I want to get everyone. I want to get the nurse story. Because she went through struggles. I know becoming an RN is a hard task. A lot of people want to be a nurse. And then they figure out how much schooling they really come with. You know. And they change their fucking mind. You know. So. All those shit just struggles. You know. Especially when you have kids. And you got to. You know. Raise your kid. You got to study. You're still trying to be human. You're still trying to go out and entertain. And 
make sure you got your schooling right and enough to get a quality job. It's tough out here, you know, and, and, and sometimes we need a place to vent. And I want the Beautiful Struggle to represent the place where they can come vent and the place where we're going to listen. We want to listen to your personal story. And that's why I set it up to where usually the way I do interviews is me here and it's the person here. You know, and I'm right there with them and I'm asking them questions and this is a little different. I want the beautiful struggle. The camera is only on the person that we're talking to. That's it. You can hear the questions. You can't see the person asking the question because I only want you to hear about that person. Beautiful struggle. Your total attention should be on that person. And it's going to help you connect and hopefully help you follow them and help you want to know more, look into them and whatever they're doing. Maybe they got some kind of movement going on. And um, I'm hoping the beautiful struggle helps. You know, I'm hoping it helps people. I hope it, you know, it helped break barriers and, um, you know, help us with the next few phases that we're going to break into as far as the brand is concerned and what I plan to do with these artists, um, you know, within my song is radio right? So, you know, we got a lot coming up, a lot up ahead. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just here putting my best foot forward. I'm trying to do everything necessary to give these artists every, everything they need to nurture their talent every aspect from 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 giving people reality and giving people the fiction because sometimes music become fiction because we're talking about stuff that we're really not doing sometimes modeling become fiction so we say i'm a model but you never had a contract sometimes things become fiction and sometimes we need the reality of things and um i want this to be that platform to say this is what i'm going through and show people that you're human you know and um that's what represents the beautiful show.